All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the building pad and that the building pad is gone uh, as of Revit 2024. So this is um, Autodesk Revit 2023. I just put up a, a, a quick uh, default, uh, you know, topo surface uh, and just quickly taking a look at uh, the icons that we have in the massing and site tab uh, in 2023, Revit and earlier, we have a topo surface uh, tool button. And we can take a look at that particular surface. Um, it's not built with anything. Uh, you know, if you're familiar with it, you can open up the section box. And we can kind of go back into, and then we actually see that there is some depth uh, that is uh, associated with that particular surface. Um, and creating the uh, creating the building pad in 2024 is no longer an option. Um, for better or for worse, it's just something I think that people have to get used to. So let me go to 2024 really quick. So here is uh, Autodesk Revit 2024. Uh, it's a little bit slow for me. Running this one on Citrix, that's okay. All right, so anyways, the massing in sight, um, similar, but a little bit different. So instead of the topo surface, we now have a topo solid and you can immediately see the difference. Um, the topo solid is indeed a solid piece of geometry uh, that is being used for topography. So. Um, you can see that it's got some thickness. If I click on this, you'll know this is from the default template. We do have a grassland. Um, it is 16 inches. I did modify it a little bit, but we, you see you have options to create water, to create asphalt, concrete, wood planks, and just, just a generic 20-foot um, uh, piece of topography. So in the edit type, there is a structure button that you can edit. So this is typically another uh, six inches or so uh, that was modified to 20 feet. Um, this is the new way that Revit is going about creating uh, topo solids, no longer topo surfaces, but topo solids. So you'll notice that there is no more building pad. Okay, so how do we create building pads? Well, they tell you to use in, pla uh, in place mass, uh, and it's as easy as clicking on that button. It's gonna tell you that the mass is gonna be visible now. Um, they're turning that on and allows you to name it. I'm just gonna click okay. And we're gonna use our drawing tools. I'm just gonna use the rectangle really quickly and draw on this flat plane. Now, if your topo service, or excuse me, your, your topo solid, is not necessarily flat. You want to use the work plane viewer um, or uh, work plane settings to make sure that you set the appropriate flat plane to work on. So I've drawn my shape. I'm gonna click on the modify tool and I'm gonna drag to select all four lines or all your lines that have been drawn. Once you've created all or selected all lines that are drawn, you're going to go up to the create form button. And it doesn't really matter if you do solid form or void form, but because we're doing this as um, a building pad type uh, type of, of, of form, we want to create a void form. So I'm going to click void. And what that does is that creates uh, a three dimensional void based off of our sketch. Now I'm not com completely finished yet, and I'll just go into VV really quick, turn off the topo solid so you can see what we're working with. And this is our topo solid. So you'll notice that if it's embedded into the surface, it's gonna be difficult to, uh, to get that bottom plane exactly where you want it. So you might wanna do the visual graphics override and just kind of temporarily hide the, the topo solid so that you can tab through and actually select the bottom plane 
of your void. All right. So now that I've got my bottom plane, I can make those adjustments. I can hit the top and make that adjustment. And I'm going to VV to bring back the top of solid again. So this should be sticking out now. All right. So it's sticking out. And at this point, I'm going to use cut geometry. So I haven't even finished uh, creating the mass yet, but I'm going to use cut geometry. Uh, and it's it basically prompts you to select what you're cutting from, which is the topo solid. So I click on that and then select what are you cutting, which is the void form. I select that and it creates my negative space. So that's typically how you're going to be working with uh, 2024 Revit and I'm assuming the future. Uh, now I can finish mass and it's going to give me a warning saying the mass contains no solid geometry. Well, cause we just cut it out. So we're just going to ignore that. Uh, and this is how you're going to be creating new building pads. So a lot easier if you have a nice flat surface. Again, if you click on the surface itself, excuse me, I keep saying surface, the topo solid, uh, you can edit the sketch and you can change the overall shape of the topo solid. That's not really going to affect your geometry cutout. If you need to change something with the, ge with the ge geometric cutout, then you want to make sure that you hover over that little cutout. You can use the tab key just to select that mass. Once it's selected, you'll notice the edit in place. And now I can go ahead and you'll see that it's kind of disappeared a little bit. But if I tab through and select, then you can go ahead and make some additional changes. Um, if you're talking about just the top surface, I can click the top surface. Now you see the orange, uh, uh, the orange void, uh, and it's easier to pick the faces and to make some, uh, some adjustments. So you can slide it over again, because I have the top surface selected, the bottom surface stays the same. And we can finish the mass and we can kind of make those adjustments as we need to. So a little bit different going forward than uh, Revit in previous years. Uh, if I jump back to my 2023 version, here we are. First of all, we notice that our surface doesn't have any material by default. In the new version, we do have materials. Um, and we can add grass really quick if we really wanted to, um, but it's not going to do too much. Let's see if we can find grass really quick. We might have to go into the asset browser. Yeah, so I'm going to go into the asset browser. Search up grass and let's delete this guy go into a default I'll just create a quick new default material and go into grass really quick and let's just pick dark Bermuda I load my new layer and we'll just call it grass. And when I change my options, it should show me the green grass. It's working really slow. There we are. Um, and editing the topo surface in 2023, you're going back to editing points. So you can click on the point, change its elevation, um, stretch it out, uh, add, uh, add different, uh, points if, if you need to. Um, so slightly different workflow than what everyone has been used to, but 
no longer do we have this building pad. Um, and if you don't remember the building pad, again, really quick, we're just going to draw. And I'm going to say, let's create negative five feet. And that's the building pad. So the building pad basically does the same thing as the void, but no longer we have a tool. We also don't have this, um, this pad area. Um, so that's gone as well. So I think in the 2024 version, it's going to be a little bit more flexible with what you can actually do by cutting out the geometry. You'll notice in the 3D version, the surface, um, the pad does create uh, a, a topo solid type uh, type geometry, but this is no longer going to be available. Uh, Revit is making changes from the ground up uh, for a lot of these things just to make it a little bit more user friendly. It's just something that everyone has to get used to. So hopefully this will help you in... Um, in your future endeavors with Revit 2024 and beyond.